Hi and welcome. Brian Post and his team have helped thousands of families go from a place of fear to a place of love. We could never reach this level of success without the commitment of the families. I'm not going to pretend. It's a long journey filled with highs and lows and a lot of work that must be done within the family unit. Unfortunately, the road has been tougher because families like your own didn't know the options. That's the tragedy. That's why we feel it's critical that you're aware of the seven things California failed to tell you before you adopted. More than anything, we don't want you to feel alone. We're here and we have a plan. But before we share the details of that plan, let's hit the roadblocks dead on and talk about those seven key things that can make the difference in your life right now. I briefly shared the number one thing California failed to tell you. Bottom line, if you and your adopted child live in the state of California and you're struggling to manage your child, perhaps they're verbally or physically abusive to you and another family member. Does that sound familiar? Perhaps you're at a point where you feel hopeless, like you've tried everything else, and you've reached that point where your child may be at risk of an out-of-home placement, which means your child may be placed in a residential treatment center, potentially for up to two years or longer. Then you most likely qualify for wraparound services, a program that will provide you with the tools to create a healthy relationship between you and your child. That would be great, wouldn't it? But California didn't tell you that, did they? And the best news? Our wraparound services are proven systems provided by world-renowned, best-selling author of From Fear to Love, Brian Post. The number two thing California never told you. All adopted children, regardless of age, have experienced significant emotional trauma. At some point in our lives, we've all experienced some sort of trauma. But let's look at this at a deeper level. Emotional trauma is perhaps the single greatest, most misunderstood trauma there is. And trauma is any stressful event that's prolonged, overwhelming, or unpredictable. And when that event continues unexpressed, unprocessed, and unmisunderstood, it becomes long-term trauma. Imagine the trauma your adoptive child has been through. Trauma can start as early as in the womb. Your child may have been taken from their mother that early in life. Trauma can occur when a child is an infant. Then you adopt this child. They enter your home carrying a whole bunch of trauma that's never been processed. Now, how does that show its ugly head? It shows us stress, acting out, behavior issues. Makes sense, doesn't it? And if you're not equipped to manage the stress that results from that specific trauma, the trauma continues and may even become heightened. Thankfully, our team is specifically trained to understand the impact of emotional trauma and how that leads to problem behaviors. In essence, we can make life easier for you, can't we? Let's move on to the number three thing that California failed to tell you before you adopted. Struggling in daycares and school settings should be expected. That's right, expected, because your child is stress sensitive and these are highly stressful environments. Stress sensitivity is a common outcome of trauma. Understandable, isn't it? Yet most professionals don't see the challenges that these everyday environments present. To them, the child is simply misbehaving. The child needs some sort of disciplinary action when in fact the child is overwhelmed by their sensory environment. The child doesn't know how to process it. With Brian Post Wraparound Services, we not only work with your child to help them manage the stress, but we work with you, the parent, so that you're in a position to help your child manage that stress. That's the best news, isn't it? Time and time again, our processes have helped both parents and children get to a place where they can make the necessary adjustments to everyday living. The number four thing California failed to tell you before you adopted? All severe behavior is rooted in stress and fear. Learning how to manage your own parental stress and fear in the relationship with your child is critical to creating a peaceful home and secure relationship. That's right. 
creating a stronger relationship with your child begins with working on you. We've all grown up with the very best parenting training. It came from our own parents. Yes, they did the best they could, but their processes were limited and sometimes left us as children facing our own traumas and issues. We've all been there, right? The more we work on ourselves and develop an understanding of who we are, the better we can understand the root of the behavior your child demonstrates and that their behavior is stemming from stress and fear. This level of understanding gives us an insight into a child's emotional experience that very few parents have. Imagine having the key that will drop your child's guard and open them up to communicate with you in a way that prevents behavior issues. That's a good place to be, isn't it? The number five thing California didn't tell you, history matters. Many times social workers don't share the full background of the child with the adoptive parents because they either don't know or they fear that the potential adoptive parents wouldn't want to adopt the child if they knew. Know what I mean? But it's imperative that you know your child's history. Their earliest experiences have shaped them. Those experiences become those light bulb moments where you go, oh, that's why they reacted this way. If we don't have those light bulb moments, we're more prone to taking their behaviors personally, sometimes because of our own issues, and sometimes because there's no other obvious reason why. But if you know the child's history, it puts distance between you taking it personally versus this has nothing to do with you, which puts you in a place to be the support you need to be and help them through their pain. What if? You never took things personally. What would life be like? We'd like to help you take the steps to know that feeling. How am I doing so far? The number six thing California failed to tell you, and this is a big one, adoption subsidy. As an adoptive parent in the state of California, you automatically qualify for an adoption subsidy to help support your child. This is a financial return that will give you and your family the wraparound services at no cost to you. That's the best, isn't it? Well, it gets better. Depending on their history and severity of behaviors, you may be entitled to an increase in the standard adoption assistance program rate. This increase could be the difference in providing higher food quality, supplements, as well as additional counseling and in-home supports. What we're saying here is that there's no lose, absolutely no lose to filling out the application, to talking with us, to gaining all the information you need to make the best decision for you and your family. It's worth it, isn't it? Number seven. I mentioned earlier that we learned how to be parents from our own parents. Pretty simple, huh? But our parents were limited in their knowledge. Very often, they had a knee-jerk reaction to our bad behavior, to yell, to discipline, to punish, to hit. For example, to them, it was as though a car started to drive outside the lane and they'd smack the car back in place. What they didn't do is figure out what caused the vehicle to go outside the lane to begin with. We've all done that, right? But if we can get to the core of any problem, we can make long-term changes. With our wraparound services and the years of research and testing that have come with the program, we have learned over and over again that common as well as traditional parenting techniques will be counter-effective and will increase stress in your home. Time out, consequences, points and rewards will increase stress in your relationship with your child and will oftentimes position you as a threat. Such parenting techniques are limited in their effectiveness, if any. And our adopted child has a very difficult time regulating stress, which is ultimately what leads to the capacity to learn and remember. Parenting techniques that generate more stress will lead to the child viewing you as a threat rather than as a source of security and support. Now, we're not gonna tell you to trash what you've learned but we are going to learn how to modify those techniques to help your child better manage stress and minimize bad behaviors. Sound good so far? 
Okay, good. Here's the bonus. All your child needs is love. It's a commonly misunderstood myth. Every parent, right along with every social worker, holds the belief that a child only needs love to thrive, grow, and become successful. This is true. A child does need love to thrive, grow, and become successful. But there's something within us that gets in the way of love, and that's fear. So here we are skipping through the park with our child, and the child stops, picks up a stone, and throws it at us. Instead of stopping, thinking for a minute, and not only exploring why that happened, and helping the child to understand that what they did could hurt someone, we freak out. We say, don't do that. Do that again and you're grounded for a week. No dessert for you tonight. Or perhaps we give them a big whooping. All of that is fear. When parents become stressed due to the child's behaviors, they are literally no longer operating from love, but instead fear. We have been conditioned to believe that the stressed out ways in which we parent our children, yelling, hitting, threatening, removal of privileges, etc., are another form of communicating love, when in fact, we're not communicating love at all, but rather fear. I bet you never thought about that, huh? Now, performing at this high level of parenting isn't easy. It involves learning new skills, practicing them, screwing them up, continuing to practice them, and working together with your child to arrive at the best formula. The Brian Post Wraparound Services are here to help you do that. Parenting can be a very lonely place, and if we don't fully understand what's happening with our child, it's even tougher, sometimes seemingly impossible. And that's a very difficult place to be in, isn't it? We can help. Please click the link below, complete the application, and let us help you through these challenging times to uncover the relationship that you and your child deserve.